Okay, now I'm going to show you how to have your list just magically love you and, uh, and how to get them to open your emails and get the best open rate of anyone that you're competing against. And uh, this is really simple. I don't know why more people don't do this, but it's, it's some pretty simple stuff. So first of all, we have two types of messages. There's broadcasts. And there's follow-up messages. Okay, so the difference is a follow-up message, that's your autoresponder sequence. So we'll draw a little timeline here. And this is where someone first subscribes. Okay, and let's just call this, this is like um, message one, message two, message three, message four. So what'll happen is someone, they join, they get a welcome message, hi, how are you doing? And then, you know, a day later, they might get another message and a couple days later, another message and a couple days later. And this can go, you can program these to go out for, you know, for five years, who knows, for as long as you want, you basically set up these messages to keep on going out to them. Those are follow-up messages. Now, a broadcast message is like, if all of a sudden, if all of a sudden you wanted to, like there's some big promotion came up, maybe an affiliate promotion, and you want to promote it, then you would write a broadcast and you would just schedule it to say like, you know, mail on Tuesday at 2 p.m. So you'll send a broadcast. So your broadcast, they can go anywhere you want, you know? Um, it's just, it's sort of like a one-off message. It's like the, the follow-up message, they're programmed in at specific intervals. Broadcast, you just drop them in and send them whenever you want. Okay, so um, I'm a big fan of follow-up messages and I'm a big fan of broadcast. They really have two very, very different purposes. But this is what you need to do in your system. So what, this is what we do. First of all, I think autoresponders, uh, the autoresponder sequence is, um, is really awesome and, uh, and I think it's an asset and I think you should schedule it out and you should have it go out for, for a pretty lengthy period of time. Uh, I know recently I've seen some people teaching that they don't like this, that they all seem pre-programmed and pre-canned. I don't agree with that. I think a well-written autoresponder sequence can be pure magic. Uh, typically, I'll send, you know, this is day zero. I'll send on day zero, I'll send, or let's put it down here, day zero, they get the welcome message. That's the day they subscribe. And I'll send another one on day one, another one on day two, another one on day three. Then I'll usually go day five, day seven, and then maybe day 10, and maybe day 13, and day 17. And then I'll go like every four days after that. So you're gradually increasing the frequency. Initially, um, you know, every day for a few days, then every other day, then every third day, and then I eventually get down to every fourth day, <clears throat> and I'll follow up every fourth day for as many as I can write. You know, if I could write six months of them, awesome. If you can write a year of them, awesome. If you can write a year of them, you know what you can really do? You can basically just start over the year again. You know, you probably don't want to use these welcome messages, but you can just go back and start over, start programming those, those in again and just keep on going. So autoresponders are really cool. Now, you will want to use broadcasts, especially, for example, product launch. Say you want to do a product launch or say you want to do a big affiliate promotion. You're not going to want to program that into your autoresponder because your product launch is, you know, it's going to come and go, right? So you want to do um, what you want to do, these broadcasts, okay? Which the, now this is the key part, is these first few messages, say the first five messages, the welcome message, and these first four or five messages, four or five, six messages, you want to work really hard. You want to make them the greatest messages ever. You know, it's not so important that number, you know, the, that your sixth message or your, or no, whatever, yeah, your sixth message should still be pretty good, but say we get out here and we're, we're on day 54, and you're into message 25, 
just not that important that the, the email they get on day 54 is the best email you could write. So let, let's put it a different way. You always want to send good emails. You want to send good copy, right? But not every piece of copy that you write is the best copy you're ever going to write. And really, when you're creating this, I'm creating, well, we'll get into that later, but how I actually create these and put them in. But not, that, that's the thing to remember. Not every piece of copy is going to be the best you ever write. So this is what you do. These are the days you put in the best copy you ever wrote. And go back, you know, if, if you come up with, if, I, if you're out here and obviously you write something that's awesome, that's better than one of these, then put it in there. But it's all about first impressions, okay? So when you're making that first impression, you want to put your best foot forward. It's that simple. Okay, so now the second part of this puzzle is when it's time to send the broadcasts, what you do is you send the broadcasts out here. You do not send someone, where in the, when they're in those first uh, four or five messages, you do not send them a broadcast email. In other words, say like, uh, you know, they got this message and it's like, you know, hey Frank, uh, so glad you joined this list. I'm really excited about showing you how to play that F chord. It's going to completely change your life. You're going to be able to play all these songs in the key of C and you're going to end up picking up chicks. Okay, obviously I'm joking around there and that's not why I play guitar because I certainly can't play good enough to get chicks and I've been married forever anyways. But um, where was I at? I got flustered there. Basically, um, so here, you know, hey, thanks for joining my list. I'm going to teach you how to play the F chord. I got this special trick I'm going to send you tomorrow. If you use this one trick, you're going to be playing the F chord by the end of the day. Then here you send them that special trick. This one, you show them how to take that special trick and, uh, and, and play it along with uh, the, the C chord. And here you show them how to play the, C, the G chord. And by here, you've got them playing a new song with that F chord, okay? You just write the greatest things or you send links to videos. You give them great material there. And then, and now you've built that relationship. You've got the core of that relationship. At this point, you know, then you go out here and you answer all, keep on, we'll get to that, how to, how to build that out later. But, you know, that's fine that they get those. But now say your friend has, uh, has uh, is launching a product on, you know, speed secrets of, of playing death metal or something on your guitar. Okay, so if this guy right here has just learned to play that F chord, you don't want to drop in this, this promotion about how to play death metal, right? It's just not the best sequence. You, so you wait until he's here, until you send him the death metal stuff, okay? Just, it's just about creating that bond, that initial bond. This is what I call a, a blended, blended sequence. And this is pure magic. Because in these five days here, you build up this core bond with them. A core bond, and they love you. Okay, you've given them good content, you've, you've delivered on the bribe in the opt-in, and now you can hit them. You know, so, so this is all, okay, so you might be wondering how to do this. It's all built in to Profilo.com. Profilo or Aweber, basically you just go in, and when you write this broadcast, first you write the broadcast on your computer, and then you go from your computer, and you go to, you log into Profilo, and you put the text in there, and then you scroll down, and um, what is it? Oh man, I can't believe I'm spacing this out. But down below, oh, it's a segment. You, you, you basically select what segment you want to mail to. And then, and then you say, okay, I'm going to send, send to everyone who's greater than message number five. And then you just hit send. And then it will automatically just send to people that are beyond message five. It's that simple. It works like a charm. Very very nice. So that's the blended sequence. If you take nothing away from this, uh, from this course, besides the blended sequence, it's a home run for you because this really does give you this core relationship and people will open your emails and they're going to love you.